Welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Dr. Ashwati. Students, in this lecture, I am going to discuss about the previous year questions from your unit number one, political theory. As you know that first unit of your syllabus is one of the most important one with reference to making your foundation strong for the examination as it deals with the traditions as well as important concepts as you know that like concepts like democracy justice they are going to be repeated not just only in unit number one but in your unit number two unit number four unit number five as well as in your indian section and political uh, sorry public administration as well so it is very important that you should know that what do you mean by political theory what are its components its historical evolution all these things are necessary so Previous year questions actually provide you with an idea about the examination, what sort of questions are asked in the examination, what sort of pattern they are actually following and how you have to locate the important areas. As you know that like you have done your bachelor's in political science, your master's in political science, so it is 3 plus 2, that's a 5 years course, right? or five like so how can you actually cover that five years for one single examination so i'm not saying that if you start studying like that way then it will take a very pretty long time but with reference to your examination there are certain areas that you need to understand as i have discussed in all my previous lectures that what is more important is like First, you understand the nature of the questions and in political science, most of the questions are asked from concepts. What do you mean by the concept? Uh, who said what? The historical evolution. Then after the important books, their thinkers, the years of publication and as well as various international events as well. So these things are actually very important with reference to your question. So we will actually check out some uh, like, you know, some uh, similar questions. Okay. That will help you to understand that what sort of questions are asked in the examination. Now, this is a first question, which among the following rights is not a group right according to Will Kimlicka. Now, Will Kimlicka is that person who is associated with the, the, uh, the political tradition called multiculturalism. So, there are many other thinkers also associated uh, with multiculturalism. We have Charles Taylor is also there. So, here we have options A, self-government rights, polyethnic rights, special representation rights, and the option D is right to speedy trial. So, you have to identify which among the following is not a group right according to Will Kimlicka. So, the correct answer is D, right to speedy trial. Will Kimlicka did not speak about the right to speedy trial, but he has spoken about self-government rights, polyethnic rights and special representation rights. So, when we deal with the first type and that is self-government self rights, he has mentioned about the self-government rights for the national minorities. The second kind of right that he has spoken about is poly ethnic rights. These are for the immigrant groups. And the third section he has spoken about the special representation now this right is actually specifically for those minorities who are minorities who are under represented in the in the parliament or simply we call it as the legislature 
so here you can see that he spoke about three types of rights for different types of minorities or ethnic groups okay so here first is the self government right for the national minorities then the second kind is poly ethnic rights for the immigrant groups and third one is a special representation rights for those minorities who are actually vulnerable or under represented so for them there should be the government should make provisions for their representation in the parliament and as you know that parliament is key to the decision making as well as for what we call the for the making of the laws so their representation is very necessary so here you can see that this falls under the political tradition of multiculturalism okay now moving to our next question now please students there is a very important thing that you need to understand here that you have to read the questions properly you have to read them twice thrice i would say that at least four times you read them first reading just understand okay what it is second reading how many questions i can actually what sort of things i know the weak point strong point and the fourth attempt should be made on behalf of like okay how i have to answer this question so you have to look at the options here so now there's a very important question this is from feminism it's clear okay you can see that uh, so list 1 has uh, the list of books and concepts on the other hand uh, on the list 2 you have the thinkers so here you can see that uh, you have to first understand that okay which one are the books which one are the concepts so here please note down these two things you may be aware about the thinkers and their book names but what if you don't remember the concepts there's a high potential to make such mistakes many have done so so this is very important that you should know that what is asked in the question itself so when i say that what is asked in the question it means that you have to read them twice thrice whatever times you can actually is possible for you given the uh, like the the, ch the chances also there that you have ample of time okay so and as we all know that right from our childhood we have heard from the teachers that attempt the questions which you are actually well versed you know the answer actually attempt then then return back for to attempt the questions like which you are like having a kind of a you are bit puzzled or something okay as you know that in ugc net you don't have negative marking so a bit of guesswork is also available there so you can actually and uh, let me say one more thing uh, ugc net examination uh, what i always suggest my students is that you have read these things you have read these things many times in your it is not something like other examinations like where if there are certain areas which you don't know this is political science you have read political science in your bachelor's and masters you know things but sometimes some concepts actually make you confused as well okay so here this question when we look at the question here so this is a match the following question so kate millet uh she is associated with this book called sexual politics she has written this work on sexual politics i will explain them as well okay so kate millet sexual politics then after we have carol gilligan she has written uh, she uh, her concept is ethics of care so this is a book name okay this is a book name okay this is a concept so ethics of care this is written by carol gilligan and then after you have julia kristeva she has worked on powers of horror okay powers of horror then after we have a creature feminine this is a french term so please uh, like i apologize because i don't my french pronunciation is not good so helen sexus she has worked on this a creature feminine okay now the answer like it is c okay a with is the which is, uh, a is with that of 2 b is with 1 c is with 3 and d is with 4 not a very difficult uh, like options i would say that okay so it is very quite like okay c is with 3 and d is with 4 now i will also explain a bit about these writers as well here 
This is very important to know because there is a possibility like today they have asked this question in uh, what I call it as. They have asked it in the match the following format. Tomorrow you will get some questions related to these thinkers in the next examination also. So there is a probability. So it is better that we should know about the thinkers. So Kate Millet. So Kate Millet is no is very famous thinker during the second wave feminism, and she has published her work Sexual Politics in 1970. Okay, and she has also written another work. This is very important not to just remember only one book, but there are other books as well. The Politics of Cruelty. This was published in 1994. Then you have the second thinker, Carol Gilligan, another feminist thinker. She is known as a psychologist and she has published this work called in a different voice 1982 and she developed the concept of ethics of care as a moral theory or a normative theory then we have our third thinker that is Julia Kristeva. She actually used the Sigmund Freud's psychoanalysis theory okay, in her work. And then after she her one of her famous work is Desire in Language. Published in 1980 and the powers of horror which was given as an option that was published in 1980 and she worked on horror marginalization as well as she worked on queer theory as well. Then we have the third thinker sorry the last thinker I am writing here with uh, Helen Helen Sexus. And she is the person uh, who utilized the Jacques Derrida's deconstruction theory as well as Sigmund Freud's theory of psychoanalysis in her work. And she has actually uh, prominently like she has published an essay. I am writing the essay's name here. The Love of Medusa. This was published in 1975 and her idea of a creature feminine, a creature feminine is actually we find uh, the, 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 uh, this term was actually this concept was coined by her in her essay, The Law of Medusa 1975. So these are the little informations that you should be aware about. Moving to our next question. Who among the following thinkers is an advocate of cosmopolitan democracy? This, uh, this question is quite easy. It's a very direct question, I would say that when we think with reference to the pattern. So it is Immanuel Kant. So our answer is Immanuel Kant. And Immanuel Kant is one among the uh, thinkers who spoke about the reason, the pure reason. And it has spoken about creating a kind of a global governance which is transparent. Where there are like, where it, is, it also spoke about like promotion of democracy. And, they, and okay, Immanuel Kant also spoke about this idea that the countries with a republican constitution are less prone to engage in wars. It means that in a kind of a, just what we can understand is that Immanuel Kant said that if you promote democracy at a global scale, then there will be no chance for war. There will be peace. So as you know that democracy is based on the concept of consent. 
so and the republican constitution is an essential uh, it is an essential fact that the countries with a republican constitution which practices democracy they would not engage in war with each other and this is the way how you can actually achieve perpetual peace in the world so this idea was mooted by immanuel kant the idea of cosmopolitan democracy and it is also an open ended project as well that aims to increase the transparency accountability in the global governance next question uh, this is a bit tricky question students okay so which among the following thinkers hold the view that liberty is destroyed please read it again liberty is destroyed because the property classes possess the power to dominate others so our options are rousseau marx john locke and engels now here this is one of the most trickiest questions i have ever seen so first you have to start with the elimination we can eliminate john locke because he supported private property so wherever you find c as an option so here this one we can eliminate a b c also we can eliminate so we are left with a b d and b d only now when we read about rousseau's uh, political theory or his ideas as we know that he is the person who conceptualized that in the state of nature human beings were in a bliss they were happy they were like they despite being isolated creatures but they were happy in their life but when he said that in his work that when there was an invention of agriculture and metallurgy when the industry started people started like you know the the idea of pro private property emerged and that is the place where people started losing their freedom and this led to a kind of a fall of the civilization this is what he has mentioned so we can say that yes rousseau is also a person associated with the idea that the property classes with the rise of private property it did impact upon the liberty of the people karl marx and engels they have already mentioned about it so our answer is c a b t okay so rousseau has also questioned the private property because according to him it was the emergence of private property that led to the fall of the the what you call it the, the human civilization and it led to rise of inequality as well because he has spoken about the uh, like three stages where the people have become like you know the governed and the governing the uh, like how the master slave relations has emerged then after uh, like he has tried to showcase that it was because of the emergence of the private property that the conflicts became inevitable then after like issues of uh, like us and them also emerged now we have this is a pretty easy question uh like arrange the ideological focus of the feminist movement under different stages in chronological order a b c d so we have focus on right to vote for women this is the first stage then we have focus on social and economic equality this is the second stage third stage focus on cultural and context that is the third stage so this is the first wave of feminism second wave of feminism this is the third wave of feminism and then focus on eco feminism this is part of the fourth wave of feminism that we can say that okay so here you can see the answer is a a b c d and this is this is one of the most easiest questions that you can have moving so our answer is a now moving to our next question and students this is a question for you people it means that i am going to read out this question and you have to answer them in the comment box consider the following about postmodernism a postmodernism is a reaction against traditionalism postmodernism recognizes pluralism postmodernism criticizes meta narratives postmodernism criticizes local narratives so you have options a and b only b option b and c only c option c and d only and d a b c d so students don't forget to put your answers in the comment section so students that's all in this class see you in another lecture bye